This was um, a thing that I did when I was a kid. What I discovered is that me trying to do an impression of Bill Cosby uh -huh. sounds like Bill Cosby as a baby, and then he has some bad news surrounding <laughs> him, and so baby Bill Cosby <laughs> is no longer appropriate. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? We're here in the Young Hollywood studio with Ooh. Joey Bragg. What's up, Joey? Nothing much. What's up with you? Not too much. And all your cats on your yeah. shirt. Yeah, I wore this especially for you guys. Thank you. I wore this butterfly dress especially for you. We're cats and butterflies Because you know how much I love butterflies. Yes, and I love you them. know how much I love cats. Yeah. So Aww. thank you for being Thanks. here. Thank you for having me. Congratulations, Liv and Maddie. I know. This is so exciting. It's you guys, so exciting. Yeah, you guys just got a little makeover, huh? Yeah, just a little like, yeah, a little pep talk, I guess. A, a little I don't reboot. Know. Yeah, a little like, which I thought when I first, whoa, I'm too big. It's you. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, didn't approve those. But uh, I like when I first found out that that's what we were doing, I was like, wow, we're like moving to California and we're getting a new cousin. And I was like, jump in the shark a little bit. Yeah. But then you like read it and or watch it as you will do <laughs> for the first time. I'm, I'm just going to yeah. read the script. <laughs> but um, it's, I don't, I think it's good. I mean, I think it's, it's just the same characters in a different setting, which I think is kind of a breath of fresh air. Sweet. And you've been acting since you were, well, no, I read that you did stand up when you were 13 years old. Yeah. My first show, I was 13, was at a coffee house in San Jose called Phil's Coffee. Oh. I was following a guy doing a slam poem about his dead dog. Oh my gosh. It was the saddest thing. He's like, <laughs> Fido, why did you have to go? <laughs> It was so sad. It was the saddest thing. And then everybody was like. And then it's like, stopping? child stand-up comedian Joey Bragg for his first time up, ever. Oh and my, my opening joke was about how much I want to live in New York, but how scary it would be every time you hear those dun-dun from Law & Order because you know somewhere somebody was brutally Something's murdered. Bad. It might have been Fido. Yeah, yeah, it could have been Fido. <laughs> oh, like, the kids' stories are connected. <laughs> Plot twist. Yeah, but then it just kind of, and then I just was doing that, and it just I was doing more prestigious clubs and mm -hmm. opening for some people, and then yeah. I started doing acting. And Did then you joined the coolest club, the Disney Club. Oh yeah. Do you remember your audition for Liv and Maddie? Uh, yeah, my audition for Liv and Maddie was an odd one, because oh. like I met the two creators, John Beck and Ron Hart, and Ron Hart. <laughs> The first thing I said to him when I walked in the room, he's like a bigger guy, glasses like me, dark hair, and I go, you look like me in the future if I made a bunch of bad decisions. No, you did yeah. not say that to me. And I booked the job. And That's I, yeah. amazing. Yeah. And so that was the only part I remember. Don't remember my read. But I'm sure he remembers that too. Yeah, he does. He tells that story all the time. And I always hear people say that. People are always like, oh yeah, the first thing you said to me was this mean thing. And I'm like, I wouldn't hang out with me anymore. I sound mean no, in these stories. No, you're so nice. Do not discredit yourself oh, like that. But I am but I'm quick to like I'm quick to judge. Or quick to make a little Well you just hippie. got quick wit. You know, you can't help it. Yeah, you just speak your mind. Oh, yeah, mind you're a very honest person. Thank you. How closely related to Joey on the show are you? Pretty close. Pretty close? Yeah, yeah. My character's uh, name was originally Sticky. Mm hmm I was Julian Fickman. I was Sticky Fickman. <laughs> and when the show got picked up we, they changed the character name to Joey, and the character was just a little bit more like me, and then as it progressed, I mean, the cat shirts yep. got picked up pretty quickly <laughs> into my actual character, and then, I mean, this season, I do, I'm doing stand-up. Amazing. And, like, Joey Rooney does stand-up that I got to write for the show, and it's really cool. I love that. What were you like in high school? Oh, the coolest kid in town. Draw People used to carry me from class to class if my <laughs> calves were tired from all the stairs. No, I was the kid that couldn't shut up. I mean, like I still am now. I got, I would make jokes in class and get in trouble. And yeah. Then, but I was, I did good. I was at my parents are teachers, so I always like homework was pushed. Yeah, I always had to. Did good. You had to do good, right? Yeah. Did yeah. you always know that you wanted to be in the biz or in, in show business? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I business? not really. I kind of always like I knew that I wanted to do something different. Like, I knew that I didn't want to, like, work in an office. I went through weird phases as a kid where I would, like, find a, this guy came to my school and did, like, a yo-yo show where he was, like, went to Paris and I went to the Eiffel Tower and, like, made an Eiffel Tower. And I was like, holy crap. This guy's job is to go to these schools, do a bunch of dope-ass yo-yo tricks, and then leave and get paid. And I was like, that's what I want to do. So he was, like, selling yo-yos. I bought a yo-yo. I got average at a yo-yo and then it was like that's not it and then <laughs> and then we were in PE and we were like had stacking cups you know those like yeah. when you stack the cups up really fast and then mm -hmm. unstack them and I was like 
I'm gonna be the best yeah, cup stacker in the world and dream. that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and then just, I had a bunch of things like that. Mm -hmm. Like I, went, I did drums for a while and then I like, nothing really stuck. And then I started doing stand up and it was like, oh, yeah. this is it. Like, this is what I wanna do. That's so cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure you could still always go back to yo-yoing. Oh yeah. Side, no, it's always side there. hustle. Let's talk yeah. about living Maddie. <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be some full circle things that you're gonna do stand up, maybe some yo yo. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, this is not a character. This is the real Joey Bragg yeah. that we're watching. I may or may not have a cat and a kitty Bjorn. <laughs> so oh my gosh. Just putting that out there. Well, I have a fan, <laughs> I have a fan question for Ooh. you. Okay, and it has to do with cats. This... Probably my mom asking me if I can feed her cats when she's out of town. Well, I don't this have any is fans. close. This is close. This is from a super fan, Maddie. She oh. wants to know who your favorite cat is, Patty or Whoopi. <laughs> oh, this is that's not fair, Maddie. <laughs> Come on. You can't pick favorites, right? Mm -hmm. You have two cats and like you have two kids, you can't pick they always say you can't pick favorites. But Audrey mm -hmm. said Patty's her favorite. <laughs> and so I was like, that broke my heart. Cause like that and the other one can hear you. She's right there. Right. Sitting down in the sunbeam. So <laughs> I'm like <laughs> I guess Whoopi's my favorite. Like, I'll give Whoopi the love that Patty gets extra. So, like, to balance it out so they right. both get each equal love. And, like, I guess that's maybe made my bond with Whoopi more. Okay. But I love them both equally as my daughters. Okay. That's beautiful. Thank Very you. Very nice. I'm sure they love you as well. Yeah. So, buzz then, off, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> and then our last question is from somebody very special. Audrey wants to know that if you were to do an impression of Bill Crosby as a oh, baby, come on. what would it sound like? Jesus. <laughs> this isn't fair. Okay, so this was, oh God. This was um, a thing that I did when I was a kid. Okay. It was an impression of Bill Cosby that wasn't an impression of Bill Cosby because I can't do an impression of Bill Cosby. What I discovered is that me trying to do an impression of Bill Cosby uh -huh. sounds like Bill Cosby as a baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Bill Cosby, and I'm a baby. <laughs> I was put into a baby's body, and I have a diabetes. <laughs> and that was like this, this bit I did when I was like a little kid, not like when I was a stand-up <laughs> performer. <laughs> it just kind of evolved. And then he has some bad news surrounding him. <laughs> And so baby Bill Cosby <laughs> is no longer appropriate. <laughs> Here's my publicist shaking her head in her hands. I, um, I was in an audition once. It was a Nickelodeon sketch audition. And I'm doing it and I, I did like th three minutes of just written like monologue. A couple characters I developed and they were like, awesome. Do you have anything else? And I was on a high, right? Like I was like, this audition's going great. Yeah, I got something else. It's Bill Cosby as a baby. <laughs> Have a seat for this one. And then I did like what I just did, and then they were like, thank you. <laughs> Get out. That just proves that I don't have any actual real fans, by the way. No, you do. You have two super fans. And uh, a third super fan. super fan. I'm a uh, new super fan, too. Thank you. You thank did you put so my much. face way too big on a TV. Yeah, I didn't do it, okay? Don't blame me. Thank you so much for joining us, though. Thank you for having me. so great. Sorry, I rudely drank coffee. I could have waited 30 seconds. No, this whole thing I would have been over. <laughs> Can you edit that out? <laughs>